Hey there. Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor JC coming at you live for a few minutes this morning. Hope everybody's doing well today and that you're walking in the blessings and favor of God. I'm going to try and adjust this camera a little bit to get a better view. And how's everybody doing this morning? It's a Tuesday morning. Hopefully you had a good Labor Day weekend and spent some time maybe with your family or barbecuing, cooking out, whatever. Good morning, Sherry. Glad you're on here today. Uh, but for some of you, you had a long weekend. Good morning, Robert. Maybe you were off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And today you're having to go back to work. And you don't want to. But you know what? Seize the day. Grab the day. Carpe diem. That's Spanish. Not really. It's Latin. <laughs> but seize the day. Carpe diem. And I hope that you do that today. And remember what the Word of God tells us in Psalm chapter 139, in verse 1. The psalmist said, O Lord, you have searched me and you have known me. You know when I rise up, you know when I sit down, you know every word that's on my mouth before it ever comes out. Did you know that that is how fully God sees you, searches you, and knows you? Did you know that God even knows the intent of your heart, of why you do something? Because there are times that we may do things, and in the back of our mind, it's not for the goodness or the kindness of the act, but it's for the accolade or the applause that we're going to get from doing that thing. I see people share stuff on social media all the time of the wonderful things that they've done, and I paid for somebody's meal, or I did this, that, or the other, or I fed them, or whatever. And I thought to myself, well, you have your reward, you know, because that's your reward, the applause of people. But the Lord searches deeper than those things. His, his intentions for us go far deeper than what we even know. He knows us on a deeper level than we even know ourselves, because he is our creator. He fashioned us. He formed us. And I don't know if you've ever asked God to search your heart and search your life and ask God to expose anything in you that was not pleasing to him. But it is a very vulnerable place to be because you are completely at the will of God. But you know what? That's the most perfect place to be. And so many believers never really get to that point. They just want enough of Jesus that they feel better about themselves and they feel a little bit of comfort, a little bit of happiness, but they never say, Holy Spirit, search deep into my heart. Because, you know, there are sometimes things that are hidden deep inside of us, maybe past hurts or past unforgivenesses or past offenses or, or things that we've said or we've done or things we've tried to cover up. And have you ever asked the Holy Spirit to just search your heart? Because... In that moment, it becomes very enlightening what the Holy Spirit can under, un, uncover in us. And when he uncovers it and he shines his light on it, then we ask for forgiveness and we repent. And it's taken away from us. We no longer have to hold on to those things. So know this, that it, searching your heart is, is about God, one, sometimes exposing sin or disobedience in our lives. But sometimes it's a, it's a sanctification in our lives. Sometimes exposing ourselves to that level where we say, Holy Spirit, search my heart. God will uncover hurts within us that we didn't even realize were still there. Or times that we have walked in bitterness or, or unforgiveness that has taken deep, deep root. And we thought it was okay and everything had moved beyond it. But there's still that little bit of unforgiveness that has not been uprooted in our lives. And it's in those moments that the Holy Spirit will expose those things. And then we have to deal with those things. We have to pull those things out by the root and allow the Holy Spirit to heal those places. Because, you know, uh, you know, there were times in our lives where we, we may have been hurt and we may, may have forgiven, but we still bear the scar of it. You know, perhaps you have scars on your physical body of times that you've injured yourself. I have scars everywhere, it seems, of just stupid things that I've done or crazy things and gotten myself hurt and had to have stitches and, uh, or, or, you know, gotten bit by a spider and had to have it lanced and stitches and all that. And so we have these scars in our physical body that are reminders of our past, but I don't, I don't still live in the pain of those things. 
I don't still live in the hurt of those things. When I was a kid, I got gored by a wild boar in my leg and it dug a hole in my leg and I have a scar there now. And it's a reminder that that occasion happened in my life, but I don't still bear the hurt of that. I don't still carry around the pain of that. I have the scar, but it's, it's over now. That trauma's done and it's finished and, and I don't walk around with that pain anymore. And the same thing is in our lives. And so sometimes there are things that the Holy Spirit may unearth or uncover in you. And what you do with that is your responsibility. Know this. God knows you more fully and more intimately than you you even imagine. He not only knows who you are and what your name is. He knows the number of hairs on your head. He knows the day you were born and he knows the moment when you will draw your last breath. He knows your, the, the intent of your heart right now. Some of us may be watching this video thinking, I'm a Christian, I'm a believer, but there's things in our heart that have not been forgiven or we're walking in disobedience and, and so we're walking in sin and, and the Holy Spirit reveals that to us. We need to take care of those things. And so I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you. Ask the Holy Spirit today. Search me and know me. Because in everything that I am and everything that I do, I simply want to be more like Jesus. And he was perfect. You know, I was reminded this morning as I was on my way here uh, to where I'm working today that there was a song back in the 1980s by a group uh, named Mylon Lefevre and Broken Heart. And the name of the song was More. And in the first verse of the song, he says, take my heart. He says, break my heart and change my mind. Cut me loose from ties that bind. Lead me as I follow you and give me strength to follow through. More, I want to be more like Jesus. And then the chorus goes on to say, more of Jesus and less of me. By his power, I will be. Like the flowers in the spring, a brand new life in everything. I want to be more, more like Jesus. So today, let the Holy Spirit speak to your heart. He's, he will search you. He already knows you. He created you. He knows the hidden things. He knows the things you try to cover up and disguise. He knows the times you try to wear a mask. And I'm not talking about COVID. The times that he try, you try to appear to be something that you're not. He knows those things. He knows who you are in the core of who you are. So let him begin there to shine his light of truth upon you. And allow the Holy Spirit to transform you. And so I want to just encourage you today, know that he loves you and he searches your heart and he knows you fully. I love you and pray for you today and may God richly bless you.